Hey guys, it's Michael with Wildly Graceful. Um, we had a lot of questions around what we're doing to stabilize the trailer. Um, we said we were going to get stabilizing jacks and we've just ordered them and they just came in. Um, these are the Libra um, 5,000 pound RV stabilizing jacks. Uh, we got these on Amazon and they will be um, they will be available in the link down below um, and so I'm going to open them up so you can see what they look like and then we'll do a second part where you can watch them getting put on and these are um, just relatively normal stabilizing jacks like they are in the back uh, 5,000 pounds is probably overkill but uh, for the price uh, these are fine and both of these are included in the in the packaging so you get two really well packaged and there we go so this is a um, just like you have in the back it's a scissor jack that is going to just bolt up underneath the front of the trailer there's a bar right here and we're going to actually just bolt it on up underneath the trailer and then it'll just scissor jack down uh, when we need it to. So it uh, operates exactly the same as the ones in the back. All right. So we will we, we will um, go ahead and uh, show you that once we do the install. Thanks. Okay. Hey there. Another quick thing that I really liked about the Libra set. Um, not that we need another one of these, um, but the handy dandy hand tool to raise and lower is included. Um, I don't plan to use that on a separate video. We talk about the Camco drill bit adapter. So if you don't have one, you should get one. And if you don't have one, guess what? Two of them are actually included uh, with this install set as well. And then your your um, screws, your nuts, are included to screw into the holes, along with the correct size drill bit. So really, out of the box, you have everything except for a drill that you need to go ahead and do the install. I'm going to take you under the trailer because they also come with templates, and I'm going to show you where we place the stabilizers. And if you think, oh, he's missing a few holes, I am indeed missing a few holes. Um, the ones on the back, just for reference, are only held on by three screws. Two in the very edges and then one uh, further down at the pivot point of the scissor jack. So um, here you get uh, a total of eight screws. We're going to probably use six on each. Um, so I will, uh, I will show that to you here in a second. So as you can see, um, here's the edge of the trailer. And all I did is come in underneath the main, the main bar, the kind of the support rod. Uh, looks like a two by six aluminum. And right there where the cross joist comes in, um, you can kind of see I went out so that I have enough to uh, put four in if I wanted to. Um, now again, you only have eight bolts total. So that's four per jack or two on this side two on this side and then over on the other side of the trailer um, you can see that I've done the same thing and I just tape the cards up so that it's a little bit easier for me to drill I'm going to use the associated drill bit with it I'm going to drill two holes on each bar and then we're going to install the stabilizer screw it tight and we will be good hey guys so here it is installed you can see I used two bolts on either side of the jack. That is more than enough to put it in. One thing I do want to point out is to be careful back here of the gas line. Um, on this right side of your trailer, your jack is going to be going over your gas line. Um, your gas line is is fine. Um, it's, you know, you might, you might bang it or whatever. You can put a little wedge in here um, but I wouldn't put it too much further, otherwise you're really not going to get four good gripping spots uh, for the stabilizer jack. 
And what I like is it really is in the right spot for a stabilizer jack, right as the frame kind of makes that A. So a um, couple things to note, um, which I will tell you about as soon as I get out from under the trailer. Hey guys, one quick thing. Let's talk safety for a second. So um, I naturally wear glasses. You should probably also have safety glasses on that prevent anything from entering into your eye area. Um, I also, when I was under there, was wearing a face mask uh, to protect myself. Uh, you can see I am covered in little metal shavings. Um, those really quickly can become uh, metal splinters. So you want to be really careful about that. Uh, so, you know, uh, that, that's one thing. Just be safe while you're doing it. The other thing that I noticed is I have a pretty high speed drill and my drill did bind a couple times going through the metal. So make sure that you're using a high speed drill. So if you're using really cheap drills or really low wattage drills, you might have a problem, it might bind. So just be ready for that on your hands so you don't um, mess up your knuckles on that. And then the other thing is those great templates that I was so excited about, well, they kind of suck. Um, they were off about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less than that, but enough so that I actually had to re-drill a different hole. I wound up only using two bolts on either side only took about 15 minutes. Um, again, quality drill, don't use the template. So drill one bolt in so that it holds the stabilizer up and then just use the holes in the stabilizer to create your other, your other pilot holes. The drill bit that they gave you is fine. It's a cheap drill bit. If you wanna use the same size drill bit and use a higher quality one made for metal, uh, the job will become even easier. So uh, safety and be careful about the tools that you get from Libra apparently. Uh, Jack looks great, but those little template things are a little bit off. All right, uh, I'm not going to show you the other one. You saw the one in. We're really excited about it. We go out in two days, uh, and hopefully that keeps the trailer from swaying when I walk around. Uh, because when Jen walks around, it's like a feather floating through the trailer. And when I walk around, it's apparently like a bear going through the trailer. So, um, All right, folks. Thanks. That's it. That's Stabilizer Jacks.